getting in tune. The excitement is just getting started as both Kate Penlopen and Stephen Decatur prepare for the state championships. As Coast TV's Tori Seagraves reports, the band and cheer groups are ready to hype up what is anticipated to be a large crowd. Hearing that Kate Penlopen and Stephen Decatur High Schools are going to the state championships is music to their ears. Cape's marching band says they're reading their sheet music and practicing their chords ahead of the big day and are arguably just as excited as the ones throwing the ball. It's been a long time, but we are ex we're just so excited. We're so excited to be, first off, be able to have a football team that can get us there. We're really excited for those guys. They're doing amazing. Um, and overall, we're just excited to be have the opportunity to go. Assistant Band Director Ellie Rolfes says it's been great to follow the team on this journey. We've been at every game supporting the football team, and so to get to these playoffs and just continue winning unexpectedly in such great, big, like momentous ways has been so awesome. Um, so it's been really fun just to be a part of that and to get all the way up to Delaware uh, UD Stadium is going to be a really cool experience. Cheering on Stephen Decatur, players from the sidelines are their cheerleaders. Decatur's band won't be at the game, but Decatur's cheerleaders are ready to get the crowd loud. There's going to be a lot of screaming going on, um, but we're always pumped for game day, so, but there'll definitely be extra cheering. For Marley Hill, going to the Maryland State Championship game has made her last year in high school one to remember. It is the finals, and of course we want to cheer our boys on and hopefully to win. A win for the team and for the school. The Cape Penlopen Viking Band will begin their field performance at 6.30 on Friday to kick off the game. And Stephen Decatur cheerleaders will be ready to help the Seahawks take home the championship title. The band will be heading up to University of Delaware Stadium on Friday just before the football team to get in some last-minute rehearsals before the big game. I'm Tori Seagraves in Lewis, Coast TV News.